Thanks for checking out this video from Netpix. And today I want to go back over a video that I made last year in 2020. And it was about trading the daily time frame. And I added in a simple trading strategy to go along with it. And this video that I put up hit almost 20,000 views. And there were just so many comments that were just excited about using the strategy. So what I wanna do is circle back around and take a look at some trades that were available since that video was produced. And I'm actually gonna to look at some of my favorite go-to instruments, including some that are found in our options trading guide. It's called the top 12 NASDAQ options superstars. And the link is above and below. You can download that free PDF. And in case you never saw that video about the strategy, the trading rules are as follows. You wanna wait for price to break above the 20 period simple moving average. You want two candle lows plotting completely above the average to point out a trading signal. After that second low plots, you wanna place a buy stop at 20% ATR above the high of the highest high of those two candles. You wanna set your stop 20% ATR below the moving average and you wanna trail your stop loss using the moving average. Now, trading short, that's exact opposite of the buys. And I'm not gonna bore you with a ton of setups, but I'm gonna look at the most recent market action as of Thursday, August 29th, 2021. Okay, this will make a pretty decent review of the strategy. So the first chart I'm gonna look at is a daily chart of Apple, and I think this is a great example of the perfect setup. The entry price, it's fairly close to the moving average, which we use as part of the stop loss calculation, right? This one would keep the risk in dollars small. And using a trailing stop to lock in profits, this move actually just recently ended with $14.79 profit per share. Your initial risk was $3.67. That's pretty good. The next chart up is Twitter. And this is a pretty good example of the entry price being further away from the initial stop loss location. So once you see a bigger risk in dollars, you're gonna have a smaller position size in the instrument that you're trading. So the end result of this one, this is a long trade, $7.98 per share. Now, let's talk about some tweaks that you may wanna consider. You can see that once the entry candle was set, price had a few days of consolidation. So traders may decide that the bottom of the consolidation, right, for a buy, is a good location for the stop once price breaks out of the high of the entry candle, which would trigger your trade. So this will allow you to have smaller risk in dollars per trade, resulting in a larger position size. Because the theory is that if price does finally break out, and then drops back through the range, the buying interest is not as strong as we would like. This is an example from NVIDIA, and we're gonna use an adjusted stop loss due to the range that occurred. Now, this is not cherry picking, okay, because price didn't even come close to the original stop that would be at the moving average, okay? So the original stop, like I just talked about, would have been $13 from entry while the adjusted stop using market structure is $4.89. And that's a lot more uh, acceptable for traders. So you would begin to trail your stop once the moving average minus 20% of the ATR is higher than your original stop. So you just keep on trailing it up. And this is actually a really good trade and it never challenged your trailing stop ending at $36 per share profit over almost two months. Very simple. Lift, it's just another example of an adjusted stop. Now I want you to notice the moving average dipping lower where I put that arrow. This is automatically gonna make your stop a little larger than ideal. So we did not get a range to put our stop under. Prices exploded up. So this example is simply using the setup candlestick and using the low price of that candle minus 20% of the ATR at that level. It's not a stellar move, okay? The reward is a little less than your risk on here. 
It's not ideal, right? but we can't control how far the market is going to go. We can only control what? Where we enter and where we get out. There's other stocks with a lot higher per share prices like Amazon and Google. So in those cases, we can still use this, but we can take advantage of the options market. And if you want to learn about options, Mike over here at Netpix, drop him an email. Uh, this guy is great at teaching options. And we have an options trading program that you may want to look into. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. There's a lot of traders that are just holding positions. They're not looking to exit, right? They just want good buy points. So on the left, you can see how the ATR plus at 20% added to your highs actually gives you a buffer from price. So you don't get triggered in on this trade. Now on the right, you actually get a better entry without a stop loss because you're looking to take Bitcoin as far as it's going to run, right? I don't know many Bitcoin traders that are looking for the bigger move that actually have a stop loss. They're just looking to, you know, go big or go home. So for those traders though, I would consider an exit if a short setup and trigger occurs, especially if you have trouble watching gains disappear. And I know a lot of people do. What about Forex? As I mentioned many times over the years, price action is what eventually rules. This is a daily FX chart of the pound yen, very popular pair. So the candle with the arrow was an entry price that wasn't hit at that first short location. The second trade is obvious. This is the stop set over the high of the setup candle. And this trades very well into a target, gives up 320 pips. Why is the exit adjusted to something other than the trailing stop? Well, it's an obvious reversal candle. And not only did it set up at a round number, but also previous support off to the left side of this chart. So when you're faced with obvious reversal setups like this, you'd be smart to take your profits, just get out. So for those keeping score, the current long setup has a trigger of 153.67. S&P E-mini, let's wrap this up with a day trading time frame, 15 minutes ES. Okay, this is generally for the daily time frame, but I know some traders have been using it on the lower time frames. I trade it no differently than the other ones. This is recent. You can see at the time of this screen grab, you'd be well into profit and looking for an exit when price goes long. Today, when I made the video, you would have got stopped out already, but you made profit. Here's the thing. If there is a gap in price that changes the trade direction to long, I would exit the trade at the first opportunity I had. So there's a reason why the original video of the strategy has done very well because it's simple to use, requires only two technical indicators and just a basic knowledge of price. So feel free to play with different stop loss placements as even trailing stop methods. This one already uses my favorite indicator, which is the average true range, the ATR. So I personally don't really have a reason to change it. I would consider the parabolic SAR. That's a nice, simple way to doing it as well. Anyways, hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a comment letting me know you that you did find it useful. Hit like, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you grab that free options download. Talk to you soon.